I'm Madeline Gent, and I'm Executive Director of the Associated Artists of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is known for its 90 neighborhoods, but those 90 neighborhoods are consolidated into nine districts. And in each of those nine districts is an incredible variety of life, art, culture, and people. In this series, we're going to examine each of those districts a little bit closer by looking at the work of one artist. In today's episode, we're going to look at the work of painter Desiree Palermo. <laughs> I still have my sketchbooks from when I was in like first grade. My claim to fame back then was horses and unicorns. Um, one of the first things I learned how to draw. Um, and you know, it was always it was always an interest of mine throughout high school, throughout um, throughout all of that. Uh, I kept it up and I and I got into painting um, when I was in high school. Um, I I didn't. I didn't pursue it as a career until I until I went to IUP, um, where I enrolled as a marketing major. Um, when I got there, pretty shortly, I, I decided that that was 100% not the thing for me. When I took an art history class as an elective, um, and then I went back that that first semester and, and changed to art education, um, really just wanting to to do something with art, you know, whether it was, you know, some, just something that I could make a career out of, um, which is what I'm doing currently, so. I, I went to, first off, I went to grad school at Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, there I got my MFA in painting, um, so, because that was something that I always wanted to pursue, um, which was going officially to art school, you know, um, so, so when I was there, they have a they have a campus in La Paz, France, um, and the opportunity to study abroad there was was presented for um, over the summer course, um, and it was it was just really incredible to be like an artist in residence there. Just just have uh, we were there with um, with a community of artists from from like the online SCAD, um, the SCAD cohort that they, that, um, that they have for like, for like teachers, they do, they do summer program. So I met some really awesome people there from, that I didn't go to school with. Um, and it was just wake up every day, make art in this place that's really inspiring. Um, the, the Luberon Valley in Provence is just like filled with, amazing colors and, and scenery and just just so much to, to be inspired from. So wake up, make art, go to sleep. Work in a mixed media um, platform and, and you know in an abstract way to to get get my ideas across. I'm really excited to get back in the studio. So it's kind of been a little bit a little bit of a hiatus. Um, I do have I am hoping to participate in um, the Brookline Breeze Fest, which is coming up in July. There's, if, if you go up on Brookline Boulevard, there are there's like a lot of new um, consignment shops and, and boutiques and things like that up there. Um, and there are community events geared towards artists and, and vendors and um, local local people local creatives just around here um i think that you know since i moved here and i've 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 been here for a couple years i've been here for a few years on and off i guess um i grew up in the suburbs so like the draw of coming out to the city and um still not being right downtown really drew me in but um since then there's there's definitely been a lot more community involvement and um, 
you know, opportunities for artists right here in the neighborhood. I would say my work is prob it's very, very dependent on, on my environment. Um, a lot of, you know, I can look at, I can look personally at each one of my paintings and say, oh, that one, that one was done in Brooklyn, that one was done in Savannah. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with, um, with the color choices. Um, if I, my work will start, will start a lot of times based on, um, like, just a snapshot that was, that was chosen, like, um, or that was taken just on, on like a random walk or a color palette that I would, that I would pick up on, um, based off of my environment around me. Um, additionally, a lot of the collage materials and the found art objects in my work are directly from my studio. And they're, they're either like wrappers or diagrams or, um, pieces and parts of things I've been working with um, that, I, that I can't seem to throw away because I know that they're going to have some kind of um, graphic element that's going to work in, my, in, in the painting that I'm working on. Um, so, you know, I, I can, you know, even just, even just looking at, like, in Savannah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of purples and, and more browns coming out in, in my paintings and, you know, here there's a lot of pink, there's a lot of pink, and I, and I'm looking at the one that, that was really, that was very, very heavily determined on like some walks that I was taking the summer I moved back here. So, um, I was heavily influenced by. Um, I would say, and I, and I say this to a lot of my students as well who, um, who are very interested in it, I would say just, just go for it and keep practicing and keep making. Um, I, I, f I feel like when you go on when you go on a long period of time where you're not making anything or not doing anything at all, it's it's really really easy to lose that momentum and to lose that that practice. Um, so, you know, I, I think that it's definitely it's definitely hard. It's definitely hard to get yourself out there, even in even in a city like as as small as where we're at. There's you know, but there's a lot of emerging artists, and you know it's you know, you, you really have to produce and you really have to want it. So, um, that's, that's what I would say. Just, if you really, if you really want it, you're going to go for it. Um, the one in Pittsburgh last summer, um, was a solo exhibition I did, um, with, it actually, it was a huge, like, mega exhibition with, like, five other, um, solo artists, um, all women who, uh, converged at Pittsburgh Center for the Arts. It was, it was, it was pretty awesome preparing for that. Um, I knew about it. I, I wrote a proposal for it and um, I knew about it a little while in advance so it did give me time to to work on the paintings which were all really large scale. Um, so, so working in this space uh, I had to be really strategic you know, make make all the stretchers and everything outside. I have a space set up up there so I can um, so I can build and and uh, put the put the stretcher bars and the canvases together, um, and then kind of work on work on a few at the same time. So um, it took it it took it took a whole summer to get ready for that. Um, it was it was right at the end of the summer. And um, and I had about I think I had like nine or ten paintings in that one, large scale large scale paintings that were um, that were more sculptural. So they were coming off of the canvas onto the floor, um, onto the walls, and so preparing for that preparing for that was was pretty intense. Had a lot of um, had a lot of installation time in the space itself and that whole week leading up to it, um, they gave me to, to set up for that. Yeah. Um, Associated Artists of Pittsburgh has been uh, a really great organization for me as an emerging artist um, in Pittsburgh. Uh, coming from Savannah, where I knew a community, I established a community there as an artist, and um, 
you know, I was I was showing in galleries and stuff. Associated Artists of Pittsburgh has has really helped to um, provide opportunities to show my work um, to to keep it at a low cost too, where where you're not you're not spending a ton of money every time you want to enter into something. Um, it Madeline has stepped in and you know as as the president she, she's the president right so um, stepping in and she's she's made herself really visible in the organization and um, and presents information really really clearly in in a lot of it um, so there's a lot of opportunities to to be a part of shows and um, to be a part of a community in Pittsburgh, whether I don't, whether I, I know those people, the artists that are there and uh, that I'm exhibiting with personally, or whether I'm just, oh hey yeah, I know her. We're just at her studio, you know, um, or I follow them on Instagram. It's been it's been a good experience as far as getting to know other artists in Pittsburgh and um, and help to get my name out there as well.